Marhaba friends, install Windows 10 on your Intel-based Macs using open source QEMU and powered with Apple's hypervisor framework, which is an accelerator. At this point of time, I assume you are using an Intel-based Mac and you have installed QEMU using Homebrew. Let's get started. QEMU by default has SMBIOS but we are going to install Windows 10 using UEI, UEFI firmware for x86-64 virtual machines. Therefore, we are going to download it as a separate package from the Fedora website. As you can see, it is the official build and the package name is EDK2OVMF. And if you read, it says it's a project to enable UEFI, UEFI support for virtual machines. This package contains sample 64-bit UEFI for QEMU KVM. Okay, so this is the place where we can get it. So if I select this link, if we select this link and right click and open the address in a new tab, then it will ask me whether if I want to download it and click, I'll click on allow, which will download the bits. Now, after the bits are downloaded, I'm going to switch over to my terminal and where the majority of the work is, all right. Okay, so in my terminal, I'm going to check whether the bits are being downloaded and yes, it's there, all right. Now, since it's an RPM, we will not be able to use it directly. To unpack this RPM, we need to install another package, which is brew install RPM. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> very imaginatively and once this completes Then we are going to issue a command which will unpack the RPM into a folder of our use so we'll say RPM to CPIO and We'll say less than sign space The name of the package we downloaded EDK2 and I hit tab and then the pipe symbol CPIO Dash ID. I mean I got it from the internet. Okay, so now we have a folder called USR which should contain our OVMF firmware. See, OVMF UEFI firmware. So if we see the contents of that folder, we have OVMF code, FD, OVMF secure boot, OVMF VAS and VAS secure boot. So we can also use secure boot if we want to, but I am not going to use secure boot. And this will also turn up in some, an upcoming video very, very shortly. So. Um, I just checked QMU firmware. So right now what do we have? We have the UEFI firmware that we will use to install Windows 10. And I have also downloaded the latest Windows 10 bits the, from the Microsoft website that is 21H2 ISO and the Vert IO drivers. So, okay, as you can see clearly we, are, we have all these three files and these are all three files that are going, you are going to need. Okay, so starting fresh, I'm going to check the directory where I am currently. I'm in my home folder. So I'm going to change into a directory called QMU. I made this directory in my last video and I, where I installed Manjaro. So you see it's there. So I'm going to make a separate directory called Windows 10. All right, to keep things separate. Okay, and I'm going to change into that directory Windows 10. And first I'm going to show you the latest, the version of QMU I'm using. So it's the latest good bits guys is that is 6.2.0 okay pause the video and see it just went too fast okay all right so 62.2.0 so i'm going to say first off i'm going to make a disk so i'm saying I'm going to say qemu image create for me a disk in the format of qcow2 and i'm going to go very slow because this is the terminal and i'm not good with the terminal too so i'm going slow okay so and name it very imaginative, imaginatively Windows 10.qcow2 and the size that I'm going to give is 35 gigs. Now I'm going to check, yes, we have this Windows 10.qcow file and I'm going to move both the Windows ISO and the Vert IO Windows drivers ISO into this directory. So we all, we have all these files in one place and we're going to use the UEI file firmware from our downloads folder. So don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to touch a file and I'm going to name it start-windows10.sh. So I created this file and I'm now, going to, I'm now going to type into that file using nano. And so guys, please, full in, full concentration. I mean, don't even think about getting late right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say QMU system x86-64, which is our Intel-based Max. Please make a machine which has 4 gigs of RAM. 
and make sure that machine has a display which has a VG, uh, display of type what IO. So I'm going to say what IO is going to drive the display. Next up, I'm going to say that display is going to be default and it is going to have, um, I'm going to say show cursor is equal to off. I don't want the default cursor to show up and I'm going to turn off OpenGL. I mean, this is very important. Make sure OpenGL is turned off. Otherwise, you're going to have worse performance than me. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to say, okay, make sure this machine has a USB and that USB is of type USB tablet. Okay. Next up. The, the, the machine is only going to have two cores because I have a pause. I have given it two. If you have 16, please give it. Okay. Next up, I'm going to say you are going to install this uh, Windows 10 on this hard disk, which is of type uh, QCOW2 and the interface is going to be VertIO. All right. Next up, we are going to say, okay, machine type machine and the type of the machine is going to be Q35, which is the latest machine according to QMU and the acceleration is going to please use the Apple's hypervisor framework, not hardware. Sorry. sorry. Okay, now again, okay. and the CD-ROM that you're gonna, going to install it is the Windows 10 latest bits and the drive file. This is the this is the place where we are going to use the Vert IO Win drivers. And this was the way I could find out twins to have a second CD-ROM. If you have a different way, please write it in the comments. So I'm going to say drive file is equal to Vert IO Win drivers. Format is equal to raw and media is equal to CD-ROM and I'm going to make sure that this is read only. All right. Next up, I'm going to give it a network card. My machine will have a network card def definitely and it will have user mode networking and the model is going to be Vert.io. Vert.io means what? We are going to use the Vert.io drivers to run our network cards. So that means we need our Vert.io drivers. Okay. And this line RTC base local time uh, is going to fix the clock on your machine. So base it on the local time of your host machine. Next up, we are going to say CPU is of going to be type Nihal M. I mean, guys, if anything else works for you, I want to like, I want to really tell you guys, I mean, if any other type of CPU like Max or host or base, if it works for you, write it down in the comments below. I mean, give me proof of it. Just don't say it worked. I mean, uh, this was after a ton of research. Okay. And okay, to be true guys, I mean, I found this line on the internet. Don't understand what this happened. I mean, if I did, probably I'd be working with QMU. <laughs> okay. I may be working with writing QMU software. Okay. Now this is the place we are going to have the UEFI firmware. So I'm going to say drive. Interface is going to be pflash, format is going to be raw, and it's going to be read only because we're going to read only from there. And the file, we have to give the full path of, so the path is front slash users, front slash Hikmate Ustad, then front slash, again, downloads, not down queue loads, downloads, and then it's in USR, in share, and in OVMF. And inside OVMF, we are going to pick up OVMF, not OMG, OVMF underscore code dot FD. This is the first line. Next up, we need the VAS2. So again, I'm going to say drive. Interface is going to be P flash. Format is going to be raw. And we are going to make it read only, same, true. Read only is going to be on and file is again the full path to that file. And just to be clear guys, remember the CD-ROM I have given as Windows 10, since it is in the same directory that this script exists, I did not have to give it the full path. Otherwise I would have to. So I have kept the OVMF separate because I'm going to use it for some interesting video coming up very, very shortly. <laughs> okay. OVMS vars.ft. Okay. These are the two files and we have our UEFI firmware done and we are almost done with our code. Yes. With our script. So I'm going to say boot and boot from the C. Okay. I want to show you guys the full script in this entire glory. So this is the script screenshot it. 
improve it and that's that's what we are for right improve it and we're going to boot from the from the cd rom so so that is why i say boot c okay that is the first cd rom so that is why it's on top if you reverse the order it's not going to work all right now i've shown you and things look good are we are going to get out of here and i'm just going to clear my screen and I'm going to get rid of Satan and invoke the blessings of Almighty Allah by saying, Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ir-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And I made it executable and I'm going to say, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dot slash, start Windows 10. All right, you remember what we say? Yeah, lift off. We have a lift off. Okay, so I hit escape. And I came inside this U, uh, this manager, the UEFI manager, because I wanted to change the display of the boot display so that you guys can see better and I can see better because 640 by 400 is very small, 480 probably. And choose the resolution that your monitor supports natively. Because I'm on a MacBook Pro 13 inch, I have 1280 by 800 pixels. That is what I'm going to choose. If you have 1920 by 1080 use that even higher better okay all right and from again a disclaimer from this point of time i have going to speed up the video <coughs> excuse me and from this point of time i'm going to speed up the video to remove the uncommon bits and i'm going to slow down where it needs attention okay so window setup click on next you can also hit alt n on your keyboard so install windows 10 most of this should be familiar with guys installing Windows 10. So this is the reason. And again, guys, your mileage may definitely vary because I just have like four cores on my super fast Mac machine and I have like eight gigs of RAM. So I could allocate only two cores and four gigs of RAM to this Windows machine. But you might have a better machine than me, so you will have better performance. So I had in the last part of the video, I have sped up things really fast. Okay. Okay. Full attention guys, full attention. Okay. You see, we don't have any disk because we used what are for our drivers. That means we need to load drivers. Okay. So best up, we click on, okay. Click on load driver, the previous screen and click on, okay. And once the software will detect, yeah, see there. Yeah, Windows 10. Select Windows 10 because it's a cousin of Windows 11. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then click on next. What this is going to do is it is going to install the Red Hat Vert IOS SCSI drivers so that your disk, that QPA disk is going to be detected. Next up, we'll just load one more driver from the uh, Vert IO uh, disk and I'm going to browse to the D drives and go to the net kvm folder which houses the uh, network drivers that we have used since it's user mode networking remember in the script we are going to just pick up that driver amd64 and so that we will have network while we are installing our windows 10 machine so hopefully things go smooth and yes it has loaded so select the driver and install Click on next and this driver is going to be installed too. So we have our hard disk drivers and our network drivers. So looks good. And now we can hit next very safely. And again, I'm going to skip things really fast, really, really, really fast. Okay, done. Yes, okay. Now after this region thing is done, we are going to be greeted with an error which says OOB keyboard for. Okay, now when this comes up, don't panic, don't jump out of your window. Hit Shift F10 to bring up this command prompt and type in these commands. It says net user administrator and front slash active colon yes. So make the administrator user active. Okay, next up. Net user, uh, just give the name, username, and password. So I'm going to say add. My username is going to be Hikmat Ustad, and my super secret password password is going to be one, two, three. Okay, please don't copy my password, guys. Please. Okay. So next, uh, next up is net local group. Add this administrator that is Hikmat Ustad in, in your case your name to the 
administrators, local group, local group. I mean, I'm just trying to explain the command. Okay, so that is what. But you have to copy this command. I mean, line by line, just change heu to whatever you have used and one two three to your super secret password. Okay, now change into the Windows directory system thirty two o o b e and say m s o o b e dot e x e. Enter and hit exit. Now what this is supposed to do is supposed to restart the installation automatically. But what happened was I waited for a long time and it did not restart. So I'm going to give it the terminating signal from my command from my command prompt and I'm going to make a backup of the script that worked. And very imaginatively, I'm going to say liftoff.sh. So I have a backup there and I'm going to change anything in this script. So all I need, I'm going to remove the Windows 10 ISO file because we have already booted from there. Remember guys? All right. So next up, once this comes up, it says username and password is incorrect. Again, please don't jump off your window. Hit OK and sit back and relax for some time where I will be greeted with saying administrator. Yes, because remember, we have been added as an administrator. OK, now it says this might take several minutes. Yes, I know Microsoft leave everything to us. Yeah, you can have all my debts. OK, Windows stays up to date to help you run on and work. See how this blinks, man, and it looks like it's screaming to me, making sure everything is going to be ready. Oh, it's taking a bit longer. OK, at this time I was thinking, OK, OK. And now, OK, choose your privacy settings and click on next. I got this error again. Click on try again. Maybe it didn't like my privacy settings the last time, but I am adamant and I gave it the same privacy settings this time again. And now, yes, see, we have Windows 10 working and you see how the wheel is spinning. And I said before, I have sped this up to, I don't know, <laughs> to, uh, to, 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 to make this video feasible. That's all. I mean, because you will have better performance than me, but because I have one of the best powerful machines in the world to show you this video, but you'll have better machines than me. Anyway, so we have Microsoft Windows 21 H2. Congratulations, guys. The latest bits on an Intel-based Mac using QEMU using Apple's hypervisor framework accelerator. And yes, trust me, guys, it, it, it will work well for you. OK, so we are going to install the Vert IO drivers, which were in D. And from here, you will probably see, are you going to see a speed run of the Word IO Windows driver installer? But if you don't have a problem, you can use the GUI. But I use the command line, so we went to the D and we installed it from there. <clears throat> and it will scale to the resolution once you install the uh, Word IO drivers. And you see, once we are installing, yes, you see, we how, how good things look here. Yeah, almost like native, right? Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to change the display settings and choose the display that your monitor supports. But I'm going to change this because I could not see the taskbar. <laughs> so I had to change it down. Otherwise, I have chosen 1920 by 1080. And next up is the Win Word IO guest tools setup. Run this. And after this, Installation goes through successfully. We are going to shut down a machine and we are going to remove our Vert IO Win drivers so that we will just boot up our Windows 10 machine without the Vert IO drivers also. Vert IO CD ROM, sorry. Vert IO CD ROM. Okay. So I've shut down my machine and I'm going to remove it from here. Again, terminating signal. Change the script. Remove the Vert IO Win drivers. Not required anymore. Just dot slash start Windows 10. Yeah, you will see, there we have it, guys. Windows 10 on QMU. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Stay tuned for more interesting videos like this. Bye-bye.